Hey guys, so I'm doing a, um, a video today about the rail system that I've got going on in here. And this is not my creation by any means. Uh, this is something that has been done by lots of people, but I figured out a little bit cheaper ways to do it than from what I've seen so far. And it's been a lot of trial and error, mostly error, but it's, uh, it's worked out pretty good so far. Um, so my issue here was that first off we don't have the uh, half circle type gutters we've only got the k style gutters uh here and i mean we do actually have the half circle ones but they're expensive they're like eight nine dollars a piece which doesn't work for me like that doesn't you know i mean you could but i don't like the i don't like that idea so i went with the k style gutters and i was worried about these because if you look at the shape obviously here I don't know if, yeah, you can see that. Look, um, see, it's got this little notch right here. So what happens is with these gutters, you're actually working with less water because in order to do this, like I only fill up to about, you know, right where this bend is and then just do it that way. But it turns out to actually work pretty good for the way that I do it anyway, because um, I'm doing kind of a deep water culture type thing instead of a NFT. Uh, it's 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 you'll see but either way with these um these were only like three dollars a piece from home depot uh you buy five you get them for like three dollars i think 318 or something i mean that's you know 15 bucks 16 bucks for five of them you can't beat that price i mean it's great so that's that other problem i ran into was i mean people make it look really easy they're just like okay we'll buy the gutters you can buy the end caps and the fittings the fittings for these things are ridiculous. Like the fittings for this, I looked at this yesterday, the fittings for this exact K style vinyl gutter at Home Depot or Lowe's will cost you about four, three fifty to four dollars per fitting, like per end cap. So one end cap for this cost as much as the entire gutter cost, which is just crazy. So it defeats the whole purpose. You know, if you if you do that, then you know you're at three dollars and something for the gutter, then three fifty four dollars for each end cap. You're at what eleven twelve bucks per gutter? No, I'm not doing that. And I mean, this is vinyl, right? This is a type of plastic. So why don't we just melt it and shape it? You know, so that's what I did. And granted, it's not super pretty. And like I've gotten better at it, you know, over time. And I've tried a couple different things, so everything is kind of you know, a little different from each one, but it works and it works great. So I just used a uh, regular heat gun, but I mean, you could probably do a blowtorch if you're really careful not to actually melt the plastic. Like you just want to heat it up and shape it. You know, melt's probably a bad term, but um, so I just heat up the end of it and then just push it in. And I'll actually do a video on that too soon. Um, but all I've got to do, like whenever I'm pushing this in, is just get it up over this lip and then it's okay. And once it cools, it actually hardens to the same strength that it, you know, the rest of it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you guys how to do that really quick. Uh, this is, let's see if you can see this setup. This setup is, is in my 10 by 12 greenhouse and I've just got two, um, I've got two racks, metal racks. Uh, I think they were from Lowe's. They're the six foot racks. I actually had aquariums on them inside and I found a new use for them outside for at least for this growing season. I've got a bunch more, so I'm not like super hurting. I've got another, I think I've got four more of them. So it's not that big of a deal, but they work great for this. So instead of having to build a bunch of stuff with lumber, which you could do also, I did it with this, works out awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this. I've got a cheap Harbor Freight heat gun, which is, uh, okay. I don't remember how much these are. They're not expensive, uh, but you know, I wouldn't buy one just for this unless you're doing a lot of them. I happen to have this one already, so it wasn't a purchase for me. If I didn't have one, I would probably either use, if I had a torch, like a small butane torch or something, maybe a hair dryer would do it i don't know if it would get hot enough but it'd be worth a try you need gloves when you do this i mean you don't really need gloves but if you don't want to burn yourself just don't use gloves like sometimes i do sometimes i don't with the gloves it just depends on what part i'm working with but just be really careful and so now if you can hear me i'm just 
heating up the edges of this thing. And as you notice, like, I don't know if you can see that, but, um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it from here, but as you heat it up, the edges start to curl out and it just kind of starts to, you know, lose its shape, which is what we want because we want to be able to mold it. So. So right now I'm just heating it up. As you can see, it's starting to get really pliable, which is good. That's what we want. Let's see if that's enough. It may or may not be. Another thing, do this in a well-ventilated space because there are fumes, so you don't really want to breathe those in. I'm going to have to heat it a little bit more and get this part to kind of move up. I think that's gonna do it right about there and yeah that's that's about it I'm not gonna put any kind of uh, anything through this you could and if you do you just need to make sure that this is, this is a flat surface like flatten it out as much as you can but with this I'm not doing that I'm actually putting a drain in the bottom right there so I don't really care you know how flat this is the biggest thing that I'm trying to do here is just make sure that the level that the, the lowest level of this edge is up above that ridge that I showed you earlier um, so that you know because that's like my kind of guideline of where I want the water to be it may or may not be right there it's probably gonna be just a little bit lower and if I go switch to NFT then it doesn't really matter anyway because it's not gonna be more than just you know a half inch or so so that's basically it. Uh, I'm going to do that to the other side. And then um, that's basically that. That's all there is to it.
and let's see if we can look a little closer at them. Oops, sorry. Yep, so that's what they look like. They're just kind of, all I did was heat the ends, push them in, and they're sitting, you know, right at that line where that, where that ridge is at right here. They're sitting right at that line or just a little bit above it. 